ratios lesson, tables to graphs. This lesson starts out with a table and the students have to determine whether it's proportional. So you've got all these ratio values and we're gonna compare each one. So one to four and three to 12. Are those equivalent? If they are, they're gonna move this oval to cover yes. And they're gonna test all of the other ratios in the table to one to four. So one to four to five to 20, are they equivalent? And so each one of these are going to answer yes or no. Now, were all of the ratios in the table proportional? Again, they're gonna have an oval that they just have to move. If, it was, if they were all proportional, then yes, it's a proportional table. Now we're gonna find a different way of determining proportionality from a table. Students are gonna create ordered pairs from a table. So they start with zero, zero. They're just gonna type in zero, zero, one, four, two, eight, 312 and 416. So they've got all of these ordered pairs. On the very next slide, they're gonna take these ordered pairs and they're gonna graph them. So they just click and hold on these green circles and they plot the point zero, zero, plot the point one, four, and then they determine, they're gonna determine whether it's a straight line through the origin. When they graph, all of the points. So here it just explains, this is the origin, this is a quadrant one, so the origin would be here. And when you plot all of the points, does it create a straight line through the origin? They're gonna look at four graphs, determine which one shows a straight line through the origin. The only one would be this one. And they can either put an X in the box or they can come up here to the fill color and fill it with a color however they want to show the answer. And then they have several graphs. They're going to, again, graph the points and then determine whether the graph is proportional. Is it a straight line through the origin? So they've got four of those. And then they're given a word problem. At the ice cream shop, the ice, the one scoop of ice cream is 25 cents, two scoops, 50 cents, and so on. So they're just gonna drag and drop these values into the table. One scoop, 25 cents. So they're gonna take this 25 cents and they're gonna put it into the table. Two scoops is 50 cents. They take the 50 cents, put it into the table. And they might need to play around with this a little bit to get them in the correct place. 50 cents. and so on. So they're going to put all of the values into the table. They're going to create ordered pairs from the table. So they just click in this box. And so they'll have, they're going to use parentheses and one scoop, 25 cents, two scoops, 50 cents. So they're going to type in all of the ordered pairs. I'll make these bold. And then from all of the ordered pairs that they just typed in, they're going to graph these on the, uh, on the table and determine whether it's, the answer is a straight line through the origin. Is, is the ratio of scoops to cost proportional? And then on the very last slide, they're gonna answer that in writing. Is the ratio of scoops to cost proportional? And explain why. All of the completed slides are on here for the teacher. To make a student copy, just come up here to File, make a copy of the entire presentation, and you'll have a class copy or student copy. Make sure on those that you delete all of the completed slides.